Today I'm unboxing some Lee filters. So I got a swatch book from Lee and these are camera filters. I've heard that they're a nice alternative to color discs for use with a lightsaber with a white LED like this Ultra Sabers lightsaber. So let's check it out. It wasn't that expensive, so I got this from Lee Filters directly, and it was $2 for the swatch book, and they had this promotion, um, this coupon code where you get $1.99 off. Um, so I paid a penny for these this uh, swatch book, but then the shipping was actually $6.45. So I paid kinda just under seven bucks for this. Let's see. I have a packing slip in there. Let's get that out. And it came within a few days, so I'm pretty happy with how fast that shipping was. Here we go. <laughs> so this is the variety of the colors available, and they're all labeled very detailed way. <laughs> this is more colors than I would probably ever need. So what you would do is with these colors, you kind of choose one that you like. Let's see, that is a frosted one. Let's maybe go for one of these. I'll go for this kind of blue, palace blue. Now which order is it? Ooh, mauve. Maybe I'll go for one of these purple ones. Okay, I'm gonna try out this purple one. And so what I wanna do for it to work with my saber is I need to cut out kind of a little piece um, that's about the diameter of a blade. So what you could do is see this quarter is about the right diameter. That's why I picked it. You could use the, a quarter or you could use maybe a blade plug as a reference point and then just cut around it. So this is the first time I've done this, you guys. Doesn't need to be totally perfect. Ugh. And I can already tell it's not. <laughs> Oops, I should keep that in frame. Now remember pretty early on, one of you commented in one of my videos about these leaf filters, but I didn't quite know like how to get them or you know what to do. And then I finally found that you just get a swatch book like this. It's pretty cheap and let's see. That should more or less work. Let's see how it looks. There we go. So that purple gives a pretty decent purple, uh, kind of pinkish purple. So again, here's the color of the filter and then here's the result. <laughs> So it's really neat. I mean, I love that there's such a variety of colors I can choose from and it's gonna be fun experimenting uh, which colors work really well with the white LED. Look at this variety, you guys. Um, it, you know, it takes a little bit of effort for you to cut out the little piece like that, but see, it looks like you can get maybe two um, good circles out of it for your blades for each of the swatches. So I'll link to Lee Filters below where I got this swatch book. So you can purchase it from them directly. I have seen that some people are selling these on eBay as well. And it is a little more on eBay. So I think some of the sellers were selling it more for like 10 bucks or so, but I'll link to that too if you're familiar, more familiar with that interface. And as a disclaimer, I'm an eBay seller. I'm not selling these, but I sell other things on there. But Anyway, I thought maybe some of you might want to look there as well. But that's just kind of a look at the Lee filters. I like them so far. It's a great suggestion that a lot of people have talked about and a good alternative to color discs where you get quite a variety of colors to choose from.